Hello and welcome along to another CAD tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at Fusion 360. Now I will do some fundamental tutorials on how to use Fusion 360, the basics of the software as well. But today we're going to dive straight into it and we're going to look at how to create a work in drawing. Partly because uh, my year 11s are currently at this stage of their controlled assessment um, and I, I, hopefully they'll find this video useful and hopefully you guys will find this video useful as well. So we're now in the Fusion 360 um, interface. And you can see there that I've just designed very quickly a, um, a mock-up of the iPhone 6. And we're just going to have a look very quickly at how to create a work and draw. So once you've designed something in model space, which is right here, um, you can even have a quick look at it in uh, the render space um, just, to, just to see the differences there really quickly. So you can see the render space there. Uh, and you can see the graphics a little bit better. Um, we're going to move back into model space now. And I'm going to go to the top here where it says File. Um, and I'm going to go to um, New Drawing from Design. Just let that load up. You'll see a little text box on the right hand side opens up. Um, and I'm going to leave that everything on here the same. So we've got this ISO standards, unit millimeters, sheet size A3, all of that's OK. So I'm going to press OK there. Now what's going to happen? Um, is it's going to calculate the information and it's going to bring it across um, all the way to a drawing page. And that's loaded up there nicely. So, the first thing I'm going to do um, is I'm going to insert an idea. It actually does it automatically for you. It inserts um, a, a front face. So if we look at the drawing view uh, panel here on the right hand side, you can see there that I can change um, the orientation from the front to the right or the left. But I'm going to keep it at the front at the, at the moment. And I'm also going to change the scale. I want the scale to be 1 to 1. You can see that it changes up to full size. And I can also look at different views. So <clears throat> I can have a shaded with hidden edges, shaded without the hidden edges, uh, visible with, with hidden edges, and then just visible. So I'm going to go visible. And I'm going to click on the screen. And I'm going to insert my drawing and press OK. And you can see there that it turns into just a normal black and white sketch. And that's the elevation, that's the front view. So I'm going to go drawing views, base view. And then this time I'm going to go for a, um, a right view. So go right. Use the same scale, always use the same scale. One is to one. We'll line that up there. And this time I'm going to go for visual, uh, visible edges as well. So I'm going to keep the same as what I had before. And then also I'm going to look for a plan view. So base view again. And I'm going to change it to top. And I'm also going to make sure that it's on visible edges as well. Scale 1 is to 1. And I'm going to insert that underneath the elevation there and press OK. So very quickly, I've got an elevation, a plan, and an end view. Now, you could be a little bit more technical about it, but that's really a very quick way of creating a working drawing. Um, what I would do next then is I would add some elevation, I would add some dimensions to it. So I would add the dimensions on. The very quick and easy way to do it is just go to the dimension tool at the top. Click on the dimensions, and you can add some dimensions really, really quickly there um, to your actual working drawings. It's very, very quick, very easy to do that. Place the dimensions on, very clear, um, and looks very detailed. You can also add some text in there as well. So if you wanted to write any notes, um, any annotations, you can text them in here uh, on the text box, and it gives you the text height uh, and style there as well. So we'll just, we'll just escape from that one, but that's just a quick, easy way of doing that. Um, the other thing I would do with this big space on the right hand side, I always think it's quite a nice thing to do with the work and drawing, is insert an isometric drawing of what you've been doing. So this time I'm going to go for shaded, so I've got a little bit of colour there, um, so it's visually appealing because this isn't actually going to be a technical drawing, it's going to be a pictorial drawing. I'm going to go for southwest isometric, see how that comes out. Uh, actually, I'm going to change that to. 
go for northeast. There we go, that's much better. And up the scale to once to one to keep the scales consistent. And I could insert that there, like that there. So that actually gives you a visual 3D drawing to complement your isometric or your orthographic drawing here on the left hand side. Now what you would do is you'd fully dimension that, add in some notes or text if, if you wish. What you can also do if you double click on the text box is you can complete this text box. You can see it's already put some information in like my name, the date has been created, approved by, you can put your teacher's name in there if you wanted to. To make it look a little bit more professional, I would make sure that there's some information in these boxes. Um, in industry, obviously, all of these boxes would be relevant, not necessarily relevant in education, but I would, I would fill them up to make the drawing look um, professional. So, there you have it. That's a very quick and easy way of creating a work and drawing. Um, very, very quick indeed. Um, if you wanted to actually sort of output that to print, you could output it as a PDF at the top and print it off in an A3 or A4, depending on what you want to do. And you can also just use, if you've got access to, uh, if you're using a computer, like a, a normal PC, you can use a snip tool and just basically create a picture of this and insert it into your Google slide deck for your controlled assessment. So it's a nice, quick and easy way of creating a work and drawing. I hope you found it useful um, and hopefully you guys will be using Fusion 360 in your controlled assessments.